Hi, my name is Rick DeWitt with Axiom and I'm here to give you some of the translation secrets that you need to know in order to get good results when translating between AutoCAD and MicroStation V8. Now I hear all the time from people that they have you know problems with the output files that they get during, after translation. For example, they need 2D files and all the translated files are 3D. I also hear that things don't measure right. In other words, they measure them and it's way too big, for example. Another problem that comes up depends on the MicroStation standard they have to follow. And they tell me that they don't have the right resolution. The files have 10,000 per meter rather than uh, 1,000 per foot or whatever the standard happens to be. Well, all these particular problems can be solved. And this first secret goes into how do you solve them? Well, when you open a DWG file, most people don't realize that there's quite a few options that are available and have to be set in the right way in order to get the right results when you save that AutoCAD file into MicroStation. And you access these options through the open dialog box. You change to files of type DWG and you click the options button and this opens the DWG open options and each one of those problems whether it's 2D or 3D whether it's got the right units whether the, what the resolution should be are controlled through these DWG options for example if I want a 2D model from AutoCAD's model space I click this checkbox on and I'm going to go over this in a lot more detail I'm also going to bring other essential secrets you need to get good results during translation in later videos. I'll see you there.